All right, Dogecoin. So the last time I talked about Dogecoin, I talked about a potential breakout all the way up to 10 cents. Well, the breakout is here. Now you're gonna see a lot of people saying that Dogecoin is going to $1 after this breakout. Well, personally, I like to be more conservative and take it one step at a time. And right now the target is gonna be 10 cents, but there is one issue that I wanna talk about. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ina HM, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Dogecoin breakout and where it might be heading in the near future and another coin that's gonna break out. You probably know what it is from the title already. But anyway, we're gonna talk about that as well and my play. And disclaimer, I am not invested in Dogecoin, although I am invested in the second coin, which again, you might know what that is because of the title. And the reason why I did not invest in Dogecoin and I took this opportunity is because I preferred using that money that I had on the side in order to buy the other altcoin. You know what? F it. Litecoin. <laughs> so that's that's the reason why I did not take the opportunity to invest in Dogecoin. I bought Litecoin instead. I'll explain why towards the end of the video and I'm going to tell you right now why I think Dogecoin might be heading up to 10 cents. So let's take a look at Dogecoin on CoinMarketCap right now. If you notice, Dogecoin is at 7 cents almost right now. It was It's down... 3.4% in the last 24 hours and it's up 22% in the last seven days, which is great. Now, if we look at the chart, we're gonna take a look at two charts, the Doge USD chart and the Doge BTC chart. I'll explain why soon. Now, the breakout I talked about before was with the Doge USDT chart. Again, I explained symmetric triangles where you have two, two sides of the triangle and the price is bouncing in between until it potentially breaks out of it. And if you notice right here, we broke out of the triangle. Now, usually what that means is the target that we're going to look at is the length of the base of the triangle, which is this. So if I take this, put it right here, that's the length of it. We're potentially going to break out this much. However, my issue is the amount of volume there is. The volume is not bad, but comparing that to this volume right here, if you notice, this volume is way higher than the other than the volume you have right now. Look how different this is. So we do need to see another breakout in volume as well if we want follow through. However, for now, personally, if I wanted to trade this, I would wait for confirmation. So what I would do is notice how we broke out of it and now we're sitting above this line. Basically, this line became a support. Let me take it to a smaller time frame. So this line right now is doing great. It's supporting. So right now, all we have to do is wait for a volume spike and wait for another candle going up. And then we are confirmed that we're going to most probably go to 10 cents. However, we do have a small resistance point before 10 cents, and that is this area right here, which is about the 8.89 cent range. However, if we have enough volume, we're gonna blow through past it, definitely, and possibly go to 10 cents and plus. Now, 10 cents may or not hold, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to wait until then to decide whether it's gonna hold or not. However, if we take a look at the other chart, which is the Doge Bitcoin chart, this one has huge potential because we actually not just broke out the Doge USD triangle, we also broke out the huge resistance we had right here. Also in the video before that, that I did about Dogecoin, I talked about not breaking out of this and we might fall down and then I would enter right down here. However, it seems like we broke out of it, but again, I would like to see this line supporting until we do something like that. We can curve and then go back up. This is very possible. We're just gonna have to wait and see what's going on. Also, again, I do not like the volume on this. Notice the volume is somewhat terrible. Compare this high to this. I mean, it's, it's not comparable. So it took this much volume to break out of this. Right now, the volume is very low, but we're gonna have to wait and see. That's the only way. We never know if we're gonna get another candle that's gonna be a very with very high volume. And then I guess we're back in the game. So that's it for Dogecoin. My target for now is conservatively 10 cents. However, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait for confirmation. Please don't go out and buy Dogecoin because I just said that we might go to 10 cents because we might not, because this might get resisted right here. We might not hold above this price right here and then we might fall down. We can go back here maybe to this support level, who knows? So we're gonna have to wait and see. Please trade with confirmation. Always wait and confirm that we're actually in a bull run or we are going up. But other than that, that's my take on Dogecoin. And now let's take a look at the other coin which has huge potential gains and that is Litecoin. We're gonna take a look at Litecoin. It is down 30.31% in the last 24 hours and it is up 21.4% in the last seven days, which is also great. 
Now let's take a look at the chart of Litecoin. Again, we're gonna take Litecoin USD and Litecoin Bitcoin. And the reason I'm, gonna, I'm taking a look at Litecoin Bitcoin, that is because I want to see which asset I'm better positioned in. So let's say Litecoin is cheap compared to Bitcoin, such as this case. If you notice, right here, Litecoin was very expensive in terms of Bitcoin. It was about 25,000 Satoshis, but right now it's at 4,175 Satoshis. So what this chart means is that most probably Litecoin is going to outpace Bitcoin. That doesn't mean that Litecoin is definitely better than Bitcoin and it's gonna be more expensive. It just means that at this time, being positioned in Litecoin is probably better than being positioned in Bitcoin because we have huge potential gains of about 300% in comparison to Bitcoin. Now again, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is gonna drop and Litecoin is gonna go up. It's, Bitcoin might go sideways and Litecoin might explode or they might go up at the same time, but Litecoin is gonna go up more than Bitcoin. That's what this shows exactly. Now, before I dive into this chart, let me go into the Litecoin USD chart and let me tell you what I see. So, if you notice, we have broken a key resistance right here, this area right there. Let me draw a trend line. We just broke out of this line. Well, we didn't, we did break out of it actually, but we. Actually, we are right on it. Maybe if I drop this like this. So the only thing I would like to see right now is again, almost the same situation with Dogecoin, you know, supports and resistances. That's all I trade basically. And I would like to see a curve like this. And after that, I would say we will go non-stop up to $300. Why $300? That is because if you notice again, supports and resistances, <laughs> if you look at this resistance right here, the previous one that we've had this resistance right there this is about three hundred dollars and it's about i would say three hundred four three hundred three dollars however three hundred dollars is a psychological number and many people might actually take profits at this point so i would say the next stop would be three hundred dollars for litecoin so here's the thing ethereum went to all-time highs bitcoin went to all-time highs litecoin has still didn't go to the previous all-time highs because the previous all-time high was about four hundred twenty dollars as you can see right here the wick went up to four twenty dollars so if Bitcoin and Ethereum were able to break all time highs, I don't see why Litecoin won't. And this chart probably won't depict that. However, if you look at the Litecoin to Bitcoin chart and notice we are very cheap compared to Bitcoin and compared to the all time highs. So I'm, I'm just taking, I actually took this trade, as I said in the beginning of the video, I did not buy Dogecoin, but I bought Litecoin instead because I saw a bigger potential gain in Litecoin. If you noticed right here, we bounced off this support, which has been a huge support ever since back there of March, February, March, or and yeah, February, March of 2017. And then we went all the way up to a top at on 12 February, 2018. And ever since we've been on a bear market. This bear market has been about 700 days long, if you notice. Imagine, 700 days long, and there's a saying that goes, Nicholas Merton says that the longer the base, the higher the chase, which basically means the more we're going sideways or, uh, in a, or going in a bear market, the higher the explosion is gonna be most probably. So that's why I took a chance and the risk to reward on this is beautiful. So let's say you were to jump in the trade right now, I'm not saying you do, but let's say you do, I would say you have a potential of getting 300% compared to Bitcoin. Imagine right now going into Litecoin and then increasing your Bitcoin position by 3x. That would be great, honestly. It's a chance I'm going to take and I did. Now there are many plays in the market out there that may be better than this play. Please let me know about it. I would love to see it. Whether I prefer Dogecoin or Litecoin, honestly, I prefer the one that's gonna give me the best return on my Bitcoin position. So I right now I prefer Litecoin because the chart is just more obvious that it's gonna explode. However, for Dogecoin, it seems that we are still at a, a resistance or maybe we broke out of the resistance, but we still don't have the volume that confirms that we are actually gonna explode. For that reason, I'm in Litecoin right now. Fundamentally, I do prefer other coins that are, for example, in the DeFi space. I do love those coins and believe them in them fundamentally. However, as a trader and as a long-term trader, I do prefer going into plays that are gonna give me the best return on my investment and the best return against Bitcoin. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what's the best coin you guys have and what play that I might be missing you might wanna tell me about. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. We are almost at 1000 subs, so I would appreciate if we can get there. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.